Hey, what's going on, everybody? Chris M. Walker, CEO of Legit here. And we're going to be doing, normally we do a live, you know, Q&A, ask me anything type of thing on Friday. And we can do that at the end if that's, if people want to do that. But what we're talking about today is Legit, meaning Legit.com, the best marketplace in the history of the universe. And some of the things that we've launched in the last couple of days and what we're going to be doing in the days, weeks, and months coming up. So... I've been kind of placed, you know, saying, talking about it here and there. You've probably seen some, a lot of the changes yourself, but I thought it would be easier if we just got together and did this. And by the way, if anybody has any trouble seeing or hearing me, uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do about it. But I think we're probably good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And then uh, at the end, if you have any questions about this or anything else, just let me know and I'll take care of them for you. So. Thanks for taking the time to hang out today, and let's, let's, jump, let's dive into it. So the first thing is, this week, I want to say two days ago now, I haven't slept a lot this week, so I may be a little off base there, and, and I'm losing track. So it, we launched Legit 2.0. Now, this is a phase one of Legit 2.0, and that's kind of going to be the point of everything that we talk about today. But what we did, we overhauled the design to make it much more user-friendly, much more up-to-date, interactive, and just a lot, just better, basically. And so far, the feedback has been really, really well received. It's been very positive. So thank you all for that. It's always nice to know that people are, appreciate the things that you do and the things that you're working on. So that's kind of where that is. And it also rolled out really well. We didn't have any major downtime or catastrophes or anything. These horror stories that you hear about that can happen when you do a project at, of this magnitude. So again, thank you for that. We really appreciate that going well. And thank you to our great development and support staff for making that possible. So it really made everything go very well. There have been you know, a few bugs and a few kinks, and we've been stomping those out as quickly as they appear. So uh, be, please be, continue to be patient with us as you have been so far on that, and we'll get those taken care of. But like I said, for the most part, no major functionality has been affected. So that's kind of the point, the main thing I wanted to talk about there and, you know, kind of cover what we've done so far. One of the reasons we had to do this is that we wanted to add a whole bunch of new features to make Legit as good as possible. And in order to do that, we kind of had to get the new design out in the first place so we didn't have to do everything twice, basically. So this is going to allow us to push out some of the things that we have planned and that I'm going to talk about in just a minute a lot faster. So that's why we have done that in the order that we do and that's why i'm calling this phase one of legit 2.0 see how i'm talking with my hands there i read that in a public speaker book anyway so the next thing i want to talk about is you might be thinking to yourself well that's that's awesome you know and, and your design looks great and it's cool to use but what does that mean for me as a customer as a buyer or a seller on the platform how is that going to make me more money and bring in more quality sellers and then more sales for those sellers? Well, it's a very valid point. Now, I, we've grown consistently since we launched in February of 2018. You know, month after month, we've hit, we've had, we've improved, we've included, we've basically every month has been our best month. So thank you so much for that. But that's not just doing well is not good enough for me. It's not good enough for us, and it's not what you deserve. So. In order to really just grow and scale legit, we have partnered with one of the biggest advertise, paid media advertising agencies in the world, one of the most successful ones that work with a lot of celebrities and high-end businesses whose names you would know if, if I was to mention them. At least the celebrities, are, are, I had to Google some of the celebrities because I don't know anybody more recent than 1995, <laughs> but apparently these are some really big people in like the music and entertainment industry. So. That's some of the clients they work with. And I tell you that not to brag, but to tell you that they really, really know what they're doing. We're actually expecting to see a 100 to 500% increase in traffic, sales, and other metrics like that over the next, say, 90 days or so. So the reason I bring that up is, first of all, if you're a customer, a buyer, and there's going to be a lot bigger pool of talent for you to choose from. So hopefully you'll be able to get everything you need right here on Legit. If you're a seller, you need to be prepared. You need to make sure that you have the right systems in place to handle the amount of orders that are going to come in. You're going to want to make sure that your sales pages are optimized well because there's going to be a lot more people looking at them and they're going to be scrutinizing who the best ones are. 
and you want to just make sure that you are presenting yourself as professionally as possible and taking advantage of all this new influx of customers, money, and so on that's going to be coming in. So that's something to be on the lookout for. Um, really, really pumped about that. I've been negotiating it for a while, and it's going to be great for everybody. So that's going to be the lookout for that. The next thing is the number one question I've gotten from day one on Legit is when will there be another method for us to make payments or to er or withdraw our money other than PayPal because PayPal, it doesn't work in every area, in every country. And we're about three weeks ago, I announced that we'd be integrating Payoneer and Payoneer is very close to being ready now. I expect it to be ready in the next two to three weeks. And this is the only, by the way, this is the only time frame I'm gonna give you on our uh, calendar here because I know I've been asked about it quite a bit. So that's going to be ready for you in two to three weeks to make payments, to receive payments, and so on. So looking forward to that. Excited to get that out. I know it's going to help a lot of people. It's going to bring a lot more people in. And, and like I said, it's been asked for a lot. So we're really excited to be able to, to launch that out to you. So be on the lookout for that and pretty soon. So, and as far as, like I said, as far as the rest of these updates I'm going to give you, I'm not going to give you our development calendar because I don't want to set an expectation, have something come up, not meet it, and disappoint people. So that's kind of the point of that. The next improvement that we're going to be rolling out, and everything I'm going to talk about today, I will say should be ready by the end of the year at the latest. So that's kind of the only time frame I'm going to give you, is uh, improved email communication. Now, what this is going to be is... So, but first of all, we're going to give buyers more encouragement to give sellers the information they need. A lot of times they'll start an order and it'll just sit in the status of new for a long time. And then the seller can't get their money. The buyer doesn't get their service. And what we're going to do is kind of send encouragement emails to them to help them understand that they need to provide a little bit more information so the seller can do the work that they need to do. So that's kind of the point of that. And I know I'm going very fast, so just check this out on a replay. Uh, if I miss anything or whatever. So, and then we're going to be giving out, sending out reward and celebratory emails for accomplishments that people make on Legit. So, you know, you make your first sale, you make your first purchase. I'm going to send you out a little thank you, a little thingy, a little award type thing to kind of, you know, show you our appreciation for you taking the time to use our platform and to help each other out. So that's kind of some, some things that we're going to be adding in the next few weeks or months. So, Next is enhanced privacy options. These are basically going to allow you, we're going to add options so that if, you, if you're a seller and you have a lot, of, <clears throat> a lot of volume, sometimes you don't want to have to deliver everything yourself. So we're going to add some, I guess, security or privacy options would be the right way to put it in order for you to be able to allow someone else to access your account. And it will also help pre prevent against someone maybe getting your password if they look over your shoulder or something like that. This will allow you to make sure that it's always you logging in. So some enhanced privacy options that will allow you to have staff and things like that on your account will be coming out soon. That's something that's been asked for quite a bit, and I think it'll help a lot. I know that it would help me a lot as a seller, and that's one of the reasons that we're doing that. So enhanced privacy options like uh, two-factor authentication and so on. I'll give out more details as we get a little bit closer to the release of that. The next thing we're going to be rolling out is, and I can't give you a ton of detail on this yet because it's, I want it to be a surprise, is premium seller levels. And like I said, that's going to be, well, let, me, let me rephrase that, premium user levels. And that's going to be kind of a thing where you pay a tiny amount up and then get some extra features on the site to help you optimize your listings and things like that. So I am not, like I said, not going to give out the details on that just yet because frankly, we haven't decided all of them. And, you know, I like to keep you in suspense, but premium user levels coming very soon. After that, and these are somewhat in order, but not necessarily. It just kind of depends on a lot of factors, but updated search algorithm. We're going to be updating the search when you type in something in the search bar to make it so that you find not only exactly the right service for what you need, but then other things that may complement what you search for in order to get you the entire package to get you everything that you need. So, you know, you type in press release, you're going to see all of the, the, like the newest and the best press releases, as well as some things to go along with that that will help improve whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish <clears throat> with that search application or that search 
phrase. So we'll be rolling that out in the next few months as well. Uh, I think that's going to be huge. That'll help our sellers get more sales, our buyers find exactly what they need, and us to make more money. Like I said, I like to be transparent. I'm not going to lie. Some of this is to make money. You know, I'm not. It's not a, a three five zero one three C. I'm not doing this for charity, but I am doing it to help as many people as possible. So, you know, there we go. Now that I've rambled on that point, we've got one more big feature that we're going to be rolling out for the, or sometime this year, and that is one that has been asked for quite a bit also, and that is a legit mobile app for Android and iOS devices, so you can access legit on the go. Sure, you can go to the website now, but an app has been asked for a lot, and this we're going to bring that to you sometime in 2019. So that's that's going to be huge. I think that's going to help a lot of people. I think it's going to help get grow the site, grow the brand, and in turn help people find what they need and make the sales that they need. So just a quick recap for those of you that joined late. You know, we talked about Legit 2.0 and the rollout we did this week. It's been well received. The few minor kinks that are remaining, we're still working on and expect to have results soon. We talked about partnering with a large ad, ad agency that's going to bring in thousands and thousands more people into Legit, and we expect a 100 to 500% increase in the next 90 days, so be prepared for that. We talked about Payoneer, which we're going to be ad, adding in very soon, as soon as maybe two or three weeks. We talked about improved email communication to help sellers get their orders started and finished and help buyers on, remind them to give the sellers what they need, as well as congratulate people for hitting certain milestones on the site. Talk about enhanced privacy options so you can add other people to your account and also make sure your account is as safe as possible. We talked about premium seller levels. I wrote seller levels on my notes, but I keep meaning to say user levels, premium user levels, and didn't get a lot of detail on that, but we will soon. Talk about the updated search algorithm that will make it easy for people to find exactly what they need for sellers to be seen when people search for what they offer and to give them everything that the customer everything they need as well so that's an updated search algorithm and we talked about a mobile app for ios and android devices that we hope to have ready by the end of the year so that's pretty much it uh, what we've got in the pipeline i guess the main reason i wanted to do this today was to jump on here and communicate to you what we have going on, what you can expect, what's just basically everything that's in my head because I want to be as transparent and community driven with you as you have all been with me. So that's kind of the state of the union for legit. I banged through that in about 15 minutes, so that's a good thing. I didn't bore, hopefully I didn't bore anybody, but I wanted to make sure that I communicated with you as much as we do. I consider us all partners in this and it's important for me to be as transparent as I possibly can with details and timelines and things like that. So if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the chat right now and I'll take them on. So let me uh, just get a little closer so I can read because I'm nearsighted <laughs> and bring up the questions. If there are any, if not, then we'll wrap this thing up. Randy says, hey man, like you that you're adding to your office. Actually, I'm at home today. This is my new place and the room I've set up to do my work and my videos and things like that. And but thank you. I, I think it looks really cool. I'll probably be doing a lot more of my uh, videos and stuff from here because well, home is where the heart is. <laughs> and he says, nice I dig the axe. Funny thing about that is I got that when I was a teenager. I have no idea how to play it. I got it to impress girls. And it didn't, but I still keep it there in hopes that someday it will. <laughs> so that's kind of why that's there. And just make it over here on YouTube and find the questions that may be rolling in there.
No, that doesn't seem to be any questions there. <laughs> Russell Freddie Edmonds asks, is that my new office you're sitting in? <laughs> no, no, it's not. But, you know, I'll, I'll put you up a little cot over there in the corner or something if you want to come visit. Michael says, <laughs> Michael Quinn says, thoughts on the ending of Endgame. I thought it was done pretty well. Uh, I think Thanos is going to be, and I don't want to spoil because I know how upset people get about that, but uh, and I think that Thanos is going to be ending, un, end up being to this generation what Darth Vader was to other generations, kind of like what they think of as a movie bad guy. You know, he had 10 years of build, so yeah. Taz says, what services are the most offered on the platform today? Uh, to not be general, I mean, generally it's SEO because that's kind of where most of the audience that followed me over to legit came from, but also content writing is very, very popular specifically in SEO stuff for Google maps does really well. And then different types of backlinks do well. I, I don't have the data in front of me to support that, but just from what I see day to day running the numbers, that's kind of what, what it is. Randy says, can you add the order number to all lines or areas? It would help tracking the exact order through the process. I don't totally follow what you mean, but if there's somewhere that you think it need, needs to be, just uh, hit up either support or the suggestion, suggest a feature, and we'll take care of that for you. Russell Freddie Edmonds says, hold on, I'll hold you to that. Laugh that laugh. Okay. <laughs> Randy says, such as seller orders, have another column for order number. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. We can look into that for you. Not a problem. And once again, I managed to not get YouTube right. So if you were waiting for this on YouTube, I apologize. I actually think I know what I need to do. But now it's kind of pointless. So I'll just upload this to YouTube later. All right, let's see if I missed any questions anywhere else. It doesn't look like I did. All right, we will give it another minute or two, but you know, like I said, I just felt like I like to talk about community and talk about how important that is to legit and to, I think in business in general, I think a lot of people have <clears throat> let that go. I, I don't really know. I don't really know how I want to say that, but I think it's more important in business in general. So uh, that's what the issue was. For some reason, Facebook took down the original link to this that I made. So that's probably why a lot of people missed out. But. Anyhow, I wanted to, I figured well, if I'm going to talk the talk, I need to walk the walk and be, communicate directly and be as transparent with everybody as possible. So that's kind of why we did this today. And I hope it was helpful. I hope it uh, appreciated and things like that. If not, if there's some way I could have communicated better, uh, let me know. And yeah, see one question. So, yeah, sorry about that, Chris Stewart. I, I, I didn't even think to take down the original because for some reason Facebook removed the original post that I made. So my apologies. I, that should have occurred to me, but it just didn't. Let's see. I'm not seeing any other questions anywhere else. Yeah, let's see. How can I get a shirt service to show up under two categories, such as press release? I want it under writing slash press release, but also like to show under backlinks. I think you can use the meta tags in when you're setting up your service. There's a place to put meta tags, and I think that will help as well. Now, should it really be showing up under two categories? It's kind of hard to say, but I think that will accomplish what you're looking to do because that I, I get what you're saying. That does. Both of those do apply to what you offer there. So I can see why you would want that to show up as much as possible. So that I think that's probably what how you're gonna go about that. Uh, 
I'm wondering if it's because I called this the State of the Union that uh, that Facebook didn't like it and took it as being political. That would be kind of funny. All right, it's about we've been here about 20 minutes. I had planned this for about 30. So if you want to talk, ask questions about anything other than legit, we can do that too. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions about legit or about anything else, I will be happy to take them for the next 10 minutes, and then I'm going to go take a nap. I'm not even going to pretend like I have all this stuff to do, although I do. But I'm going to go take a nap because I am, as they say here in the South, whooped. Randy says, I've tried and updated the meta, the meta, but it's still not happening. I'll, I'll look into it for you. Will the Cubs get to the World Series? I don't know. I haven't had a chance to see how well teams are doing so far this year, which is frustrating to me. I used to be a ma massive baseball fan. If you, I don't know if you can see in the background, but there's a binder full of baseball cards that I, as I was throwing things out for them to move, that was something I couldn't let go. So, uh, I don't know. Hopefully it'll be the Braves though, because that's my team. I used to uh, watch baseball with my grandfather before he passed a few years ago. And it was, it's something I really, really enjoyed. We actually had like the tomahawks and we'd sit in the living room and do the tomahawk chop and stuff. So I really, I, every year in the, like October, when I finally get around to watching like the playoffs and stuff, I say next season, I'm going to watch baseball more. And I just haven't had a chance yet. So maybe I'll do that soon. So, if it's, but to answer your question, I don't know, but I hope not, because that would mean that the Braves did not make it. <laughs> well, since I didn't do YouTube right, I'm going to have to close that out, and I'll just do this as a premiere on YouTube in a few minutes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if there aren't any more questions, we can wrap this up. I'll give it another minute or two. I don't. I hate to have somebody that has something they want to ask, and I don't. Uh, I don't get to it. But while while we're doing that, since a few people signed up late, let me go ahead and just kind of cover bullet points one more time about what we talked about. We talked about the, the legit two point uh, launch that we did earlier this week and including how well it's been received and how much everyone seems to like it and how we're still working on getting the last few bugs and kinks worked out, even though nothing in particular or nothing major really happened. Uh, we're talking about how we partnered with a large ad agency agency that's going to help scale legit to the next level. So get ready. We're going to have pay an ear ready in another week or two, maybe as many as three weeks, improved email communication for both sellers and buyers, including rewards. Enhanced privacy options so you can have other people access your account. Premium user levels. I got it right that time. An updated search algorithm and a mobile app all by the end of 2019. So that's kind of what we talked about in case you're just signing on late. If you need to go, if you want to see more about the details, just watch back to the beginning. It's a pretty short video. But uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be it. I don't see any other questions. Uh, Randy says, thanks, brother. Always a good time. Next time, serve some bourbon. <laughs> It'd have to be non-alcoholic if it was me. I don't drink. So, but, you know, if you want to bring some, by, you're more than welcome. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for taking the time to hang out with us. Thank you for being so patient as we roll this out. It could, it, your patience made the process so much easier and so much better. Thank you for all the positive feedback. I pass that on to the development team who really deserves the credit here. And they were very, they were very thankful for that. So thank you for that. And most of all, thank you for being part of our community here. That means that's the only reason that we're here. That's the only reason we're going to grow. And it means the world to me and everybody else. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll have a regular AMA next week, but I just wanted to make sure that we address everything here for you. So thanks a lot. Have a great weekend. And thanks for being legit.